summertime, a lot of us has been spending a lot of time out in the sun, maybe getting a sunburn. Dr. Palm is joining us this morning to talk about how you can do some home remedy stuff to take care of those sunburns. Yeah, we have fun in the kitchen today. Yes, yeah, and we're we making the kitchen. things. <laughs> I am your biggest fan, and you always oh. have the best ideas. Hopefully, you use your sunscreen and don't get burned, mm -hmm. but you know you have some really great natural ways to kind of help relieve some of the, the pain. Cucumbers. Mm -hmm. I know, and probably a lot of stuff you already have in your sure. kitchen, which is what we wanted to feature. But cucumbers, especially if they're cold, it's going to feel really good mm. on skin that's been irritated from a sunburn. You could put a couple on your eyes if the face is affected. Mm -hmm. But what we've done here is, uh, beforehand, we used a little blender, mix some cucumbers as well as a little bit of an aloe vera ah. plant, which is soothing and has healing properties. Added a little bit of yogurt because that dairy sort of cools as well. And this is something you could use just with a little paintbrush and put it on your skin and the affected areas of sunscreen and it's really going to soothe it and help it heal a little bit faster. And we were just faster. mentioning during the break, it smells good. It's almost like you can <laughs> eat it as well. I know. <laughs> yeah, so I guess if we get hungry, we've got snack <laughs> right. time too. And, and then what do we have? On? I would leave it on about 20 minutes okay. and then you can rinse it off. Okay. And you could do that a few times a day if you wanted to. And then we have some tea bags. Yeah, so green tea is fantastic. We use it in a lot of skincare products, and it's something that you probably already have at home. So what I suggest to patients is you can steep it and either put it on a wet washcloth, keep that chilled, and that feels really good in the skin. The antioxidants are going to help repair the skin from the sunburn. Or you could put it in a bath. You could put a few of those oh, in there, and it's really going to help idea. out. And like you said, that soaks into the skin, then helps it you know, heal a little more quickly and yes. then you get the relief. Yeah, and if you're drinking green tea too, that also gives you a little bit of antioxidant coverage against some of the sun exposure. Not a substitute for sunscreen, yeah. but something good to have and in your diet. And from the inside out then. Absolutely. I like that you mentioned that because I've always been told it's not only what you put on your skin, but it's also what you intake in it's your body. It's really true. You are what you eat. So, you know, if you're eating a diet that's rich in something like antioxidants, and I also put a product called HelioCare, which you can get at the pharmacy, that's a really rich antioxidant of fern extract, both of those things can help a little bit. Always sunscreen, but this might help a little bit on super sunny days. And then we also have some oatmeal. Yeah, so I brought some over-the-counter products. So colloidal oatmeal, and you could actually put just plain old oatmeal in a sock, and you could put mm -hmm. that in your bathtub along with a little bit of tea. But the colloidal oatmeal helps with the itch and with some of the mm. burning associated with that. So it's going to calm stuff down. I love this for my eczema skin, but for in times Probably of sunburn. Probably peeling too. Absolutely. And that's really a good point because about two weeks down the road, you're going to start to peel, sometimes even a little bit sooner. So you want to use ingredients over the counter that have either hyaluronic acid or in this case, ceramides, which are natural fats, mm -hmm. going to restore some of that moisture so you don't get such dry skin afterwards. And then some over-the-counter um, prescriptions. Yeah, so as soon as you feel that sunburn happening, taking an NSAID, something like ibuprofen, Advil, mm -hmm. really cuts down on some of that inflammation that starts with the sunburn. Over-the-counter, you can use a little hydrocortisone cream. A dermatologist can prescribe you something stronger. And then I mentioned the pill that's just great to take if you're going to be a weekend warrior. I have to say, though, I have not been sunburned in probably 20 years. Mm -hmm. It can be avoided. Yeah. Sunscreen. I know I'm really pale, but it's better. <laughs> that. And what is it, 30 SPF 30? Or higher that you should yeah, be wearing? Yeah, you know, the 15 is sort of the general, but if you ask a dermatologist, we want 30 or more in broadband coverage covering UVA yep. and, and UVB. UVB. All right, Dr. Palm, always a pleasure having you. Thanks for being Thank with us. Thank you.